Hello and welcome to the first video of our Flex Plug and Play series. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a basic Flex Innovations plug and play model. We will be using a Spectrum DX6 transmitter and a 4651T receiver that was ordered from our website. If you order from our website, you will receive this free cable that connects to Aura. We will show you how to set up a basic transmitter and a plane. We will also cover our best practices and how to quick trim Aura after its first flight. Page 8 of your extra 300G2 manual has your transmitter set up. Select a basic default model with one aileron, one elevator, and one rudder. Make sure that you go to your servo setup page and that your travels are set to 125% for aileron, elevator, and rudder. Aux 1, gear, and throttle need to be set to 100%. Enter the system setup menu and find the aircraft type. Make sure that the wing and tail type are set to normal, and that you have one aileron, one elevator, and one rudder selected. Next, enter the digital switch setup menu. This is where, on this transmitter, we have to set up a three position switch. On some transmitters, all you need to look for is the channel input menu. You can select any switch you like. For this example, we're using switch B. When I toggle switch B, the switch is selected. This three position switch assigned to channel 5 will control the three flight modes assigned in Aura. If you would like to confirm all of your channel assignments, you can go to the channel monitor screen. There you can see that you have throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, and gear is assigned to a three position switch for our flight modes. We've now taken our gear to the field for final setup. We secured the 4651T in the fuselage using double sided tape. We connected the receiver to Aura's port B. Make sure to position and secure your receiver's antennas. It's one of our suggestions and best practices not to have your prop installed at this point. Rocky powered up the plane with the receiver in bind mode and then bound the transmitter. It may take some time for Aura to detect what type of receiver it's connecting to. You might see some sweeping of lights, but once it's connected, you'll see a solid orange and green light. After that, you're connected and you can do a wiggle test. To test the flight mode switch, we held full right aileron or elevator and then cycled the flight mode switch to see if we had different travels. After that, we did a wiggle test to make sure that the gyro is working and the surface is moved in the correct directions. Now it's safe to put on the prop and spinner. Always remember to use your throttle trim up before you take off to get that prop spinning. The QQ Extra 300 G2 manual, page 21, specifies that you should take off in mode 2 for the first flight. During your first flight, trim the plane as needed, but keep Aura in flight mode 2. Once you have landed, do not change the flight mode. After your first flight, power down the airplane, but leave your transmitter powered on. Unplug whatever servo is in Aura port S3 and insert a bind plug. Power on your airplane, and Aura's LED light will start flashing blue very slowly. Remove the bind plug. That will make Aura's blue flashing light flash fast. With Aura's blue LED flashing fast, center your transmitter trims. Reinsert the servo cable that was in port S3 and power down the plane and transmitter. Your Flex Innovation Super PNP model is now set up and complete. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at flexinnovations.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.